Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Harry, and that's... Gribbly. It's Gribbly. All right. We're, welcome back to the latest AMA. <laughs> We're here to answer your latest questions from the community. All right. So should we get started? I'm feeling ready, Harry. I'm feeling ready. We're already at our 11th AMA. Is that incredible? Like, that's pretty amazing. That is Holy incredible. Good. That's a lot of questions. All right. Our first question comes from Spoiled Apple Milk. He asks, will you up the level cap? And will you make it so we get rewards for leveling up? So, yeah, okay, so um, I talked to Beboz about this. Um, he's in charge of all things leveling and rewards and all that kind of stuff. Um, and he said, yeah, it's definitely on the cards to uh, take it up to level 40. He didn't give me an exact time frame, but that is still planned. Um, and he said on the level rewards, mm -hmm. he said that's actually an issue uh, that he's been looking for more information on. It's a hard to reproduce issue. And so just kind of putting it out there to anyone who's watching, if that's something that you've experienced, like not getting level rewards, um, we would love to hear more information about it. We'd love to get in touch with you and hear any information we can get about what's causing that to happen, because that mm -hmm. seems like a bug that we want to track down. So um, BBoz needs your help. So uh, if you're not getting level rewards, please get in touch with us. Our next question comes from B1 Aussie. He asks, when you fall under the map in a quest, you just keep falling forever. Would you be able to add a death barrier for players that would respawn you back to the start of the level? Yeah, so excellent question. And um, mm. we think we might have an issue where this has started happening a little bit more often uh, than we've seen in the past. So yeah. yes, we'll take a look at that. Um, yeah, we definitely should have it. So you kind of respawn in the hopefully unlikely event that you do fall through the map. So I think there might be two issues. I think you might be falling through a little more often um, than we intend, which, well, we intend it to be zero, but you know, yeah. a little more often than usual. And then, then, then there's the problem that when it does happen, you're kind of falling forever and it's very inconvenient. And uh, I mm -hmm. think sometimes even your watch menu can get screwed up because uh, you fall too far. So yes. yeah, that's bad. We'll take a look. Um, yeah, thanks for, thanks for the ping. KMC853 asks, when can we expect Rec Royale 2? Will it be this year? Can we have IO on the quest? I know this takes a lot of work and I'm really sorry if I'm asking too much. Oh yeah, yeah. okay. So with Rec Royale uh, season two, I think we've talked about this in past AMAs. I think, um, the way we think about Rec Royale Season 2 is that we probably wouldn't do Season 2, we would do mm. Rec Royale 2, and it would kind of be a pretty major update um, that was designed from the ground up to work better on lower power platforms mm -hmm. like the Quest. Um, so that's something we have been talking about. I wouldn't, you know, we're not actively working on it. Um, we're thinking about it. It's a maybe for this year. I don't want to make any promises on that one. I'll give you a hard maybe on Rec Royale 2. Uh, on ILS, kind of same answer. We're not actively working on it right now. I think mm -hmm. there's a question later in the AMA that we'll get to this, so I'll, I'll end up saying this again. But um, yeah, we, we have looked into it. You know, so we brought a, a few of the quests over to the quest. Um, and But yeah, it's, it's a lot of art optimization required for ILS, and the artists are very busy with a very cool new feature uh, that we'll talk about a little bit more um, during this AMA, actually. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't hold your breath for ILS on the quest. Um, you know, we definitely would love it to be on there, but um, we're not actively working towards that right now. Povi Enderlion asks, will we ever get musical instruments like a kazoo, a harmonica, or bongos? And will we ever get backpacks outside of Rec Royale as a cosmetic? Kind of sneaky, that's two questions. That's like two questions yeah, there. All right, that's fine, yeah. that's fine. They're good questions. <laughs> so yeah, on the musical instruments, um, yeah. definitely something that we, you know, we love music, we love the creative aspect of, of music. Um, we definitely want you to be able to create your own music in Rec Room. Um, we have some thoughts on how to do it. Um, there is a kind of piece of underlying technology we're working on that is kind of an upgrade to the creation systems um, that will enable uh, not only musical instruments but a whole bunch of other stuff mm. um so i don't think i'm allowed to say too much more than that or the uh the team working on it will will come and uh do something nasty to me oh, sure. um, but yeah so so musical instruments i would say are a thing that that should be more possible within the next few months oh um, wow you know okay. we're, we're active actively working on some enabling technology that will allow, allow you to do you know things like bongos and stuff uh, a lot better than you can now um so yeah, great question. Uh, definitely something we want to see happening. And then what was the other one? Backpacks. Oh yeah, yeah. So backpacks. backpacks. Rec Royale. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, good question. I'll take that to the I'll take that to the team as feedback. I actually don't know uh, what the, if that's planned. Um, I yeah. do think the the uh, Rec Royale backpacks look very cool. And, it does. And would be a nice kind of uh, cosmetic item. So yeah, let me take that to the team and see what they think. 
um yeah so that one that one is uh, unfortunately not not one i know the plan on yeah that's really exciting to hear uh future instruments glad you tuned into this incredibly informative ama <laughs> it's like hey we might be working on a thing and you get this other thing yeah harry just cut and paste here i'll give you the answer just cut and paste for every question i'll just be like yeah we're probably working on a thing that's like that thing you asked about and i don't know anything about that other thing. <laughs> just use that every time jay on rr ask is the rail gun not a sniper I want to end this debate once and for all. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Is the railgun not a sniper? So this is the laser tag railgun, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so mm. I, I actually took, I went to Rock Guy, okay. who is the authority on these matters. You know, his word is final. So I'm happy uh, to be able to give you a definitive answer on this one. Uh-oh. It is not a sniper. Rock Guy said, if it Whoa. doesn't have a scope, it's not a sniper. Oh man. Case closed. Argument settled. I thought it was a sniper rifle. Oh. Nope, that's it. Oh. Rai Guy has spoken. Okay, Rai Guy has spoken, guys. No more questions on that topic. That's it. Oh, it's no. Settled. There you go, yeah. guys. That's your answer for that. Danielle underscore VG asks, So I guess this has been asked many times. When is Rec Room going to update the newest version of Unity? Most of the PC players struggle to play activities like Drive-In, Rec Royale, especially who has got the economic processor. And I don't think it's just for PC players. Also, I know it's a long thing to work on. So when do you think the devs are going to work on this project? I'm in love with this game. Keep it up, guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we've talked about this a few times in previous AMAs. And um, yeah, so for this one, I'm happy to say that uh, we are actively working on that upgrade. Um, I think last AMA from memory, I talked about, hey, there's a bunch of lighting work that we needed to do. And it's kind of like a bunch of work. Mm -hmm. um, that work has started. We have, uh, we have someone working on it. It's going well. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping like, you know, soon we'll like within the next handful of updates i think one of them will be on the new version of unity oh so cool. uh, yeah that one is definitely definitely coming you can see me you know I, you can tell that i'm trying to avoid giving an exact date we do have an internal projected date but i don't want to say it because mm -hmm. i'm often wrong a few good tacos ask rec.net is long overdue for some updating there are still things that you can do in rec.net that you think would be able to do in vr and vice versa is there an update planned yeah so we definitely have plans to update uh rec.net um, we have all kinds of things we want to do with it. We are hiring. We have a job open on our jobs page, recroom.com forward slash jobs, um, looking for a front end web developer. So uh, yeah, please get in touch if that's you or if you know someone who might be interested and they're, they're an awesome web developer and they might want to come and join. I think what I, you know, I could probably say is the best team. So uh, yeah, if you know a web developer who wants to join, we're the best team on the planet. Down there somewhere, right guys? There. Right there. <laughs> Star Center on us. Is Clubhouse still being developed? I really think it would really help not only moderation wise, but because people can just go and join Clubhouses with themes or people that most appeal to them. I have been eagerly waiting for this feature ever since it was spoken about months ago. It is my belief it would benefit this game as a whole. Yeah, okay, yeah, uh, for the question. Um, so the answer on this one is a definite yes. We have, we have, we've actually, that's a very high priority for us in the studio right now. Um, we have a bunch of people actively working on it. In fact, I, even I was doing some work, if you can believe this, Harry. Yeah. yeah. I was doing some work uh, on this feature Man. before I came to join you for the AMA. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, we're actively working on clubs. We hope to ship out um, at least the very initial version of it for people to play with, um, which means you can create clubs, you can join clubs, uh, you can set your clubhouse. Ooh, that sounds awesome. Like, soon, TM. Like, oh, I, I mean, that's... I'm talking... I'm talking this month, it's coming in in the next couple of updates. So unless something changes, you know, unless we screw something up, which is always a possibility, um, it is being very actively worked on. Um, and yeah, it is it is for real coming soon. That's not a gribbly soon. That's a great question. We're super excited for this feature. We think it's definitely like, you know, we obviously started thinking about it quite a while ago because we were like, oh man, this would be so awesome if, you know, people could create not just rooms, but also their own communities and moderate their own communities. And like, we can really see a lot of cool stuff coming out of that. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it's coming. Uh, thank you for your patience. Thank you for the question. Um, yeah, super excited for this one. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. And uh, yeah, Cribbly has been really heavily involved in this project and uh, we are so excited for it. So hopefully you guys will enjoy as well, too. Let's just let's just let's let's clarify something, Harry. If it comes out well, I yes. was heavily involved. If it's a complete terrible boondoggle, everyone hates it. Uh, then it was uh, <laughs> if it if it sucks, it was cloud enough. Well, <laughs> oh, you ask. In VR, I'm missing the short text messages. GG, nice game, forward. In particular, to communicate with players on junior accounts, will they ever come back? Uh, yeah, great question. Thank you, Forbim. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that, yeah, that feature was temporarily taken away 
um, because we've been making a bunch of changes across uh, all the platforms to things like the facial emotes. Like we added a lot more facial emotes recently. You can do, you know, the, the uh, straight face, you can do winking, um, you know, so we, we made a bunch of changes and that kind of meant we had to shuffle some of the menu stuff around. We've got more um, of more work there planned. So yeah, if you're playing on, on any screen platform like PlayStation or on your phone, um, then you'll definitely notice that the kind of shortcut menu has been changing mm -hmm. a lot. Um, some of those changes are coming to VR. Um, and then, uh, so we're reshuffling stuff around. So temporarily we took away the short text messages because we weren't super happy with how they're implemented. We know they're useful. We know people use them, especially for communicating with juniors as Forbim mentions. Mm -hmm. um, we want to bring them back. The current thinking is that we will do a revamp of the room chat feature which is a cool feature, but it's pretty basic. Um, I think it's pretty underused probably in the game, like it's it, because it is a fairly basic thing. It's a bit of love and a bit of polish. And that seems to me the logical place to put like canned chat messages that you want to very quickly send without typing. I saw someone on the Reddit suggested, you know, maybe we could set our own canned chat messages. So rather than just a preset selection, you can sort of put your own, put your own in and kind of say them. Um, that seems like a good idea. We'll have to think about it more um, and make sure that, that you know, there's there's no problems with that. But um, that seems like a good idea to me. So love to get suggestions on this. Like hit us up on Reddit or on Discord. Uh, let us know kind of what you'd like in those yeah. kind of canned text messages or, or shortcut text messages. Oh, I think we just named a feature, Harry. Oh, call it man. shortcut messages. Ooh. We'll call it shortcut messages because you'll get to it from the shortcut menu. Oh, there you go. And yeah, and we'll bring it back and we'll integrate it into room chat so that you can have room chat open and you can just be like, oh, do, do, oh, do, nice. hit buttons and like, yeah. you'll say things. Yeah, there's a million ways to get in touch with us. Let us know. Um, mm. But yeah, yeah, tell us what you'd use it for and um, and we'll make sure it's in there when we when we uh, revamp it. Four Point Emerald asks, has the dev thought about making repeat weekly items drop tokens or a box for those who have already completed it? Some kind of reward for dedicated players who already have the weekly item. Okay, yeah. Okay, so thank you for that question. So mm -hmm. I checked with Bboz um, and he said that is in the backlog, i.e. that's to get to at some point, but not something that's, you know, they're going to be working on super soon or anything like that. However, he did say there is a plan in the works uh, to get more weekly skins to people. Um, I don't know the exact details of that. By all mm -hmm. means, go and um, find him on Discord or Reddit and, uh, and ping him and maybe, maybe he'll tell you more. But um, yeah, Bboz says there is a plan for uh, more weekly skins coming. Um, yep. But yeah, on the, on the repeat weeklies, um, probably at some point, but not, not soon. A few good tacos ask, any plans to allow players to take photos, save them, recall them to show others in other rooms? Yes, so uh, definitely something we want to do. Um, this is, I think of this as the photo album kind of f uh, feature. And like all my photos, I can look them up, I can pull them out, I could be like, hey, check out this photo I took last week. Um, you know, Harry, have a look, what do you think? Yeah. All that kind of thing. Definitely want to do it. I don't have a time frame. Um, I know kind of behind the scenes. So the clubs feature that we were just talking about, um, when that comes out, uh, you know, like I said, is coming very soon. Um, you'll notice that that's actually built with an updated UI system, so menu system. Ooh, so yes. it'll look a little different. It's actually going to be a slightly weird because you're going to go into your watch menu and you're going to go into the clubs feature and it's going to suddenly look kind of different because it's built with a new updated UI system that much, much faster and easier for us to build UI stuff. Um, and so the way that relates to the camera, the, the photo album feature is we would build the photo album feature using the new UI system. So when we have the new UI system, um, you know, uh, which we're currently doing clubs with, it should be much quicker and easier to build that system for you. So I would say it won't come before clubs. It might, I hope, come very quickly after clubs. From Very Happy Elephant, I'm curious whether it's anywhere on your roadmap to allow junior accounts to make maker pin outside the dorm room. In general, I'm a big fan of restrictions placed on junior accounts, but I wish there was a way to override them in specific circumstances. My kids love playing Requiem with me, but are very frustrated by the fact that we can't use the creative tools in the same space with each other. So yeah, great question, Very Happy Elephant. Um, I yes. get what you're asking for. Yeah, it's definitely something we've talked about. So the, the idea here is that um, uh, uh, junior players um, currently can only use the maker pen in their dorm. Mm -hmm. And because they're juniors and, you know, we want to keep them safe, um, we don't allow uh, juniors to invite anyone to their dorm or anything like that. And we don't allow them. That's the only place they can use their maker pen, um, which is fun for them. But, you know, it is it is kind of limiting. It means that if you're a parent uh, and you want to play with uh, a junior player, mm -hmm. um, it, it means that you can't kind of create together, which is, you know, we'd love to be able to enable that. 
I'm sure you understand how careful we need to be uh, here. Like we really, yes. really try and err on the side of caution um, to make sure our junior players are having an appropriate experience. So we haven't done that. It is something we've talked about. It is, I, I think we probably have a pathway to doing it. And I think I would say kind of similarly to the photo album feature, um, it's definitely not something we would do before clubs. It may be something that's more possible to do after clubs, um, but definitely something, yeah, we, we have an understanding of, of a way we could do it, we think, safely, ethically, legally, all that kind of thing, and we would love to make it possible. Um, but yeah, we got to be careful, and, uh, and definitely we won't be looking at this prior to club. So that'll be the next big thing that happens. But yeah, great question. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, great question. Thank you so much for the question, by the way. Okolo Tihi asks, I know that devs have touched on having Crescendo and I all ported to the quest. Can we get a time frame as in when it will be ported? And if you're currently working on it at the moment? Here yeah, go. it's kind of a repeat question. We sort of just earlier. So yeah, um, yeah as I said before, we're not actively working on this. It, it, we, we have looked into it. Um, we, we looked into it when we ported across some of the other stuff to the quest. And it's a lot of work on the art yeah. side to optimize uh, that content. Um, we'd love to do it. I, I'm not going to give you a time frame on that. Um, I will say we're not actively working on it now. Um, but yeah, I can say like, you know, the 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 art team are very busy kind of working on a whole bunch of stuff, uh, including uh, some AI stuff, which I think we're going to talk Ooh, about yes. as part of this a uh, AMA. Um, the circuit stuff, which is what I was talking about in the music question. I wasn't sure if I was allowed to kind of get into that, but uh, looks like looks, looks like, like uh, John's we... okay with me talking about that. Oh, so, that's uh, good. Okay. So yeah, so the musical instrument <laughs> stuff, um, yeah, there's kind of pretty big upgrade to the circuit system is planned that'll allow oh. you to do some really cool things. Um, and then, yeah, obviously the club stuff is the mm -hmm. art team are working on that as well. Uh, so yeah, so they're very busy. Then they're, they're not currently optimizing those maps for Quest. I'm sorry about that, Quest players. We'd love to have you playing ILS and Crescendo, but um, yeah, unfortunately, probably not anytime soon. All right, next question comes from Cheesy Noodles. Mm, that sounds good. Have you ever tried Cheesy Noodles? It does look good. Yeah. Cheesy underscore Noodles ask, will you guys add a button to the maker pin that cuts shapes? Yeah. All right. So would we add a, a maker pin button? Uh, that would allow you to cut shapes. We'd love to. Uh, it's definitely something we've talked about um, and have thought about a fair bit. We haven't really figured out a good way to do it that we like yet. Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of means the performance is going to be good enough and it gives you the results that look the way we want them to look and all that kind of thing. Um, so that is not something we're actively working on right now. It is something we'd, we'd like to see at some point. Uh, I know Rai Guy is very excited for that. But, uh, but yeah, so I think in the short term, what I'd love to say is... We, we, when designing a feature like that, something that's extremely helpful to us is to have specific uh, use cases or like things that you want to do with that feature. Like, mm -hmm. so I'd love to, you know, put in the comments or you like get in touch with us on Reddit or Discord or, or, or any which way you can um, to tell us what you would use that feature for. What specifically would you like to be able to build? Ooh. And that will help us design the feature in a way that we can be sure uh, supports what you want to do, but is also kind of like, compatible with all the other systems and right. you know, is going to perform on all of the platforms we're on and, and stuff like that so yeah excellent question um definitely a feature we'd like to see mm -hmm. um it's probably a little further down the road than some of the other things that we're actively working on like the ai stuff yeah um but um but yeah great question thank you yeah great question and yeah it's very exciting to see that too for our coming features cmdr underscore red wolf ask is there any update regarding giving us tools to be able to create our own ai <laughs> Funny yeah. you should mention that. So yes, so I'm happy to happy to say that that one is being actively worked on. Mm -hmm. um, we have you know various of our incredibly talented people uh, doing some crazy experiments. I know we kind of teased this a long time ago, and then we we went and did a bunch of other stuff. And I think what we realized was like, hmm, to do this right and in a way that's going to scale and going to be sustainable, we need to think about this pretty carefully. Mm -hmm. um, so happily, that thinking has been done. Um, and yes, uh, Ooh. I've seen some really exciting prototypes internally. Um, and I think, I don't know that I have an exact time frame, but I know it's being actively worked on and that, uh, it'll probably come along after clubs, I guess, but very soon you'll be able to take our, uh, I think the, the first way this is going to show up is you'll be able to take the goblins, uh, Ooh. from golden trophy and you'll be able to take the the bots from Jumbotron, mm -hmm. um, and you'll be able to put them in your own rooms and kind of use them and fight them. Um, that'll be the that'll be step one, and then beyond that, you know, we're, there's there's obviously a system underneath that that is is way more customizable. And you know, the, the the ultimate destination is is to allow you to build your own AI enemies, AI companions, AI just whatever kind of AI powered entity you want to build. 
So it'll be a very expressive tool. But yes, yeah, step one wow. that we can confidently say is is legitimately coming soon is uh, the ability to place um, golden trophy and jumbotron style enemies uh, in your rooms. That sounds exciting. I can't wait for that. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. It's it's gonna be yeah. it's gonna be chaos of the best possible kind, is what I think. <laughs> Jay on RR asks, will trusted room creators ever get the ability to shut down instances of their own rooms through the instance browser? Oh. Yeah. So great question. Yeah. So um so uh, what Jay on RR is asking about is um you know we on the dev team mm -hmm. you know we have the ability to kind of like uh close down an instance of a room like maybe maybe there's a bug and something got messed up this occasionally happens in a paintball room sometimes they get in a weird state and we've got to go in and like shut them down and reboot them um so the question is you know will we give room creators the ability to do that as well and so i spoke to uh, mama monkey about this mm. i spoke to sean about this you know kind of the community folks um, and they were like, yeah, we'd love to do this. Um, you know, I don't have an exact time frame, but there's definitely no reason we won't, won't do it. It's just a matter of when we can get to it. I think, you know, Sean is very involved in the clubs push right now. Mm -hmm. So he's probably too busy with that to really think about this right now. But yeah, I think it's fair to say that, um, in general, you know, clubs, uh, the moderation tools like the room moderation tools, um, and something like this, like giving creators the ability to, to manage instances of their rooms, um, a little more easily. Um, or at all, I should say, um, is is all part of a kind of broader idea of allowing people to to form and manage their own communities inside a rec room. You know, now that the app is, you know, gotten to a pretty large size, you know, happy yeah. to you know it's it's going to be really cool to let people form their own sub communities um, around whatever they want to be doing. And I think managing instances and being able like, hey, you know, this room got screwed up for some reason, or we just need we need everyone out to do a reset or whatever it is, right? Giving creators uh, and you know and prop, prop, you know perhaps moderators of rooms the ability to do that um, makes a lot of sense. So don't have an exact time frame, but yes, that is something uh, we will we'll look at doing. Directed gamer asks, literally any hints on future updates would be nice. There will be future updates. There you have it, folks. You heard Exc it here first. Exclusive, Sorry. guys. Okay, no, I, I, we can say more than that. We can say more yeah. than that. You know, I think, like, I think, well, I, you know, I think we've talked through a lot of the big stuff that we're actively working on right now the club system that's coming soon uh the ai stuff um the circuit stuff you know the upgrade to the circuit system um so those are you know those are things i would look for in the near future that you should see first first versions of those um in the next handful of updates that we do you know i'm trying to be mm -hmm. careful about making really specific promises because you know plans can change things right. can move uh, in and out a little bit um but yeah those are the things that we're actively working on and that you'll see uh, happening next yeah those are all exciting um, you know updates in the future and uh, yeah stay tuned guys for that you have another two questions from Jay on RR he asks will there ever be a way to automatically holster and unholster items on people's backs using circuits this is something we really need for rooms we've been working on so yeah so um, I spoke to John about this one um, and yeah he got he got back to me with he's like hmm basically his response was huh that's a really interesting idea I think it's yeah. not something we've been actively thinking about, but it it struck struck him and it strikes us as a really powerful, potentially powerful mechanic. Um, so I'll I'll give you a hey yeah we'll look into it for you. It's not something we've actually thought about, um, but again I think similar to uh, to the the cutting shapes question, it would be great to get an idea of what you'd use it for, so we can be sure that we're accounting for the use case when we design it. Um, so yeah, let us know let us know what you're trying to do. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll think through that one. The, the reaction from the, from the you know, creation tools team was like, hmm, that mm. seems like a good idea. His other question is, any way to filter a subroom by locomotion types in the future? We want to make this hub with a bunch of games you can play. Some are teleport friendly, screen friendly, some are not, and just walk VR. No more questions. <laughs> no, we're done with Jay. Yeah, okay, yeah, good question. Um, so I think that's a really good idea. Um, I'll have to go talk to the teams involved to be like, hey, is that on your roadmap? Um, but yeah, I definitely think it makes sense, you know, as mm -hmm. kind of one of the things that you can configure for a room. Um, so I'm going to say yes, uh, but know that I got to go talk to the teams who would actually implement it and maybe they'll go, Gribbly, you're crazy. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> um, but I think, it's a great, I think it's a great idea. I think it's something we're very likely to do, yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Say it too for that, guys. Adenino asks, this won't be as popular, but could we one day see Rec Room items for the Oculus Home? Hmm. 
interesting. Well, first of all, this was a question not from Jay on, Jay on RR. Yeah, I, I, for once this time, for once this time, Jay on RR. That's a refreshing change. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, so so good question. I, no current plans to do that. Um, not for any reason other than just we're super busy with other stuff. And so, you know, we, we typically like everything we do to show up on all the platforms um, as best we can. And so, yeah, devoting that time to kind of do something specifically for that one platform, much as we would love to do it, I think it's a cool thing to do, um, is, yeah, probably not something we're going to prioritize anytime soon. The 5555 asks, Possibilities of snap rotate for streamer cam, chair cam would help keep things level. Also, maybe a way to animate the stream camera for epic shots. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, yeah, man. great idea. I, I really know cool. Marisa is very excited about this. I'm guessing yeah. a certain hairy, hairy man legs might be excited about that as well. Um, so yeah, <laughs> great, way. great, great idea. Um, I'm not sure where it where it fits on the roadmap. I, I I haven't heard the idea of using snap rotation for the camera before. That's an interesting idea. Yeah, I think uh, I think long term what we want to do is make it possible to attach a camera to an animation gizmo or any of the gizmos. Um, so that you can animate it like you could animate any other object and that way you can do yeah you can do simple stabilization shots or you know whatever epic thing you can you can concoct with a uh, mm. an animation gizmo so i think that's i think that's what that solution would look like i don't have a okay. time frame for you um it's probably you know after, after we've you know gotten gotten the circuits upgrades uh rolling i think we'll probably look at some stuff about how you attach objects together and and that kind of thing so maybe okay. maybe that'll be a good time to do it don't don't want to make you know too too firm of a promise there without talking to the team more but um it's a great idea and i think it makes total sense to give um the ability to animate the camera for sure all right we have two questions from a few good tacos can creators get a way to reward players with inventions a player completes a custom made quest instead of sending them through a solo room so they can see the reward as an invention, just to have a dialogue that asks permission to send players an invention from the creator as reward. Okay, so I'm gonna, all right, so yeah, so great question. You know, we, I think it's definitely the kind of thing we wanna get to. I'm, I'm answering, answering this delicately because we definitely have some, some, some things coming uh, with inventions. They, that system's gonna get a bit of a upgrade. Um, but I think, let's talk about that next AMA. I think we're still formulating our plans exactly. Okay. And I don't wanna kinda, Mm -hmm. I don't want to, you know, say the, say say something that we're not actually going to do. Um, so yeah, so but but we are looking at inventions, looking at upgrading them, making them a little better, and um, it's definitely kind of like it, it makes sense to us to be like um, be able to give rewards to players from your rooms. Like that's something we want to enable. Um, there's a bunch of groundwork we need to be able to do to do that properly. But yeah, it's a great suggestion. We we do love it. Um, and so I think it's very likely w that we will get there. I don't want to I don't want to say when or how. And the last question from the AMA is, would it be possible to have a subscription to Erectum Plus outside of any platform? I'm on Steam and in order to sign up, I have to purchase funds through Steam, which makes reoccurring charges more difficult if I don't stock up ahead of time. An alternative might be a yearly subscription. So at least I only need to go through the process once a year. Got it. Yeah. So I talked to, uh, talked to Bboz about this one. Um, uh, the kind of Rec Room Plus membership uh, is kind of his department as well. Um, and he said, yeah, I think he said that's yeah, interesting. And I think definitely we want to make it as easy as possible. There are a lot of kind of, you know, just different rules and regulations that we need to be, to abide by on the various platforms. Yes. So we can't always do it exactly the way we would want to. Um, you know, we always try and work with our, our platform partners to, to, to uh, get it the way we want. Um, he did suggest that, um, so I don't think you can currently do what you're asking. Um, but he did suggest that uh, one way to do it is is you can subscribe if you if you happen to have a iOS device or iPhone or an iPad, um, you can subscribe via iOS, and I believe that has a kind of a very easy recurring subscription model, and that's a cross-platform uh, membership, so that'll work everywhere. So that might be an easier way to do it if um, if if that works for you. So that was Bboz's suggestion, and then yeah, just generically, we will always be looking to kind of make it easier. Um, you know, and, and make it as smooth and as seamless as possible to give us money. Yeah, there, well, there you go. <laughs> On that note, guys, thank you so much for joining. <laughs> <laughs> we better, Harry, we better talk about something else so that I don't, uh, I don't seem quite oh, so yeah, greedy. Oh, yeah. Oh, when, when's go-karts coming out? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, I'm, yeah. This hmm. wouldn't have been an AMA if someone didn't ask go-karts. Yes. How come no one asked about go-karts this AMA? I don't know. I'm I surprised think, and disappointed. Yeah, I'm really surprised, guys. Make sure to ask more about go-karts next, next AMA. All those questions Jay on RR mm -hmm. asked, he could have asked about, uh, yeah. about go-karts once. Oh, my God. I don't know how many times he asked, but Jay, do better next time on your yeah. questions. Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah.
Thank you so much, Gribbly, for joining us for the latest AMA. It's always been a pleasure having you here, as always. I love it. Answering our community questions. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, My name's Harry, and that's... And I'm Gribbly. Thank you, everyone, for playing. Thanks for the questions. Really appreciate it. We love you all. We hope you're all staying safe out there. Yes. Washing your hands, uh, keeping the social distance stuff going. Um, Yeah, we love you all. Thank you for playing Rec Room. Can't wait for the next AMA. Let's do this again. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe for everything Rec Room, and we'll catch you guys in the next AMA. Bye, guys.